Hey, Chris Lipe here with how to unlock higher notes in your voice and how to do so freely and powerfully. And in this video, we're gonna take cues from Aerosmith, Steven Tyler song, Sweet Emotion. We're gonna formulate an exercise around that song. You are never going to be able to sing high freely without first understanding how to support your voice across multiple resonances. If you don't understand how it feels to properly support your voice in various parts of your range, then you're not going to be able to do anything that I'm talking about in this video. So watch this video, enjoy it, but click that link below and join my free voice course and let me help you dial in the fundamentals of support. This will open up so many options for you. Okay, now, unlocking higher notes in your voice. We have to understand that it's not about working up to these higher notes from comfortable notes that we already have. In other words, if I can sing this note, then going higher and higher and higher, it's not about doing that. It's not about pushing up from some note that we already can sing and then straining up to higher notes. This is why oftentimes vocal exercises that have us, you know, la 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 la, okay, go higher. La 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 la, okay, go higher. La 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 la. That's why that doesn't work because we actually put our bodies and our minds in a place of tensing while we reach higher, while we push higher. That doesn't work. What I'm suggesting in this video is actually the opposite of pushing higher or trying to pull our chest up, which so many people do. Now, if you recall the way that I sang the verse in Sweet Emotion, I had the normal sound or the normal uh, resonance, chest resonance, and then I had an octave above. Herein lies our exercise. But first, I'd like to point out something about Steven Tyler's voice and his style that allows him to freely sing all over the place. Yes, it is speech level, conversational engagement. If you listen to the verses on Sweet Emotion, if you listen to other songs that Steven Tyler does, Walk This Way is another fantastic example. Even though he's not singing all that high in the verses of Sweet Emotion, and he's singing higher in Walk This Way and some other ones, he has this sense of like, pseudo, not rapping necessarily, but he's, he's delivering a lot of words and he's singing or like nailed on some pitches, but then sometimes it's just kind of this talking or speech-like delivery with singing peppered in. If we think about our singing this way, we think about expression and timbre or pitch, not as notes being the only way we express, but in dynamics based on different pitches, not necessarily notes, we are going to sidestep the, oh, I can't hit that note, or I have to work up to this particular note. We talk about things that nobody cares. You talk about things that nobody cares. Where are the things that nobody wears? And where are the things that nobody wears? Okay, I got those pitches. Those are comfortable. We're not going to push higher and higher until we can hit this an octave higher confidently. We're not going to do it. Talk about things that nobody cares. I'm just going to speechify this. Talk about things that nobody cares. Talk about things that nobody cares. Now, as I do this, 
I'm going to observe that my voice naturally gets higher as I start expressing it in different ways. We talk about things and nobody cares. Talk about things and nobody cares. Talk about things that nobody cares. Talk about things that nobody cares! I'm just gonna get more and more heated and, and amped up and blah as I say these lines on a speech level. Talk about things that nobody cares! 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 The nobody cares! And nobody cares! I'm gonna let my voice do all sorts of things. Now, even when I was just messing around there, I'm hitting pitches that are not technically notes that are way higher than I could ever hit if I was trying to hit a particular note. Then what we do is we start taking inventory of how our voice feels when we express in a higher way. This is not, how does my voice feel when I hit a C5? This is, I just said this, ah, talk about things, let's talk about things, let's talk about things and nobody cares, cares, cares. Huh, there was a particular area of my voice that I could hone in on. Talk about things that nobody cares. You hear Steven Tyler do this even in his lower register sometimes. And we can exaggerate this as a way to unlock higher notes. Talk about things that nobody cares. I'm unaware of the things that nobody wears. Nobody wears. Nobody wears. <laughs> I am hitting ridiculously high pitches. If I pay attention enough while I'm screwing around, I can harness the freedom I am experiencing in my speech level engagement and turn that into notes. Let me work through the progress for you. Talk about things that nobody cares. Talk about things that nobody cares. Talk about things. Talk about things that nobody cares. Talk about things. Talk about things. Oh, Talk about things that nobody cares. Talk about things that nobody cares. And now I'm singing higher and higher and I'm in a mixed voice all over the place and I'm not tense. I can do it a long time. Huh. It's because I am structuring my engagement around speech field expression and then harnessing the sensation of a particular pitch, elongating it into an actual note. That's it. It's that simple. I say simple, but it does take a while and a lot of patience to make this connection between speech level engagement and abandon during speech level engagement and harnessing those sensations and turning them into notes. So how do you unlock higher notes that you already have? You just don't know you have them yet. Try this ease into speech level engagement fool around with expression that unlocks different pitches in your speech. Don't worry about the notes. And then as you figure out how things feel, as you go through different ways of engaging your voice with different pitches, <laughs> lock into a note and experiment with how that feels. Yeah, yeah. It's really, really fun and magical once you start to harness these sensations. I hope this has been helpful. Again, if you'd like more help with your voice and you like these kinds of tricks, click that link below. Learn more about how your support can really support you in your singing. Join my free voice course. We'll see you for more.